بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله to all, all of you who have tuned in and uh, are watching this very special episode um, enlightening and at the same time it will uh, clear some uh, highly controversial uh, tactics uh, imposed by a certain person. Now, um, I don't want to obviously, uh, you know, disclose the brother in question. Um, we would we will call him Abdullah or Akhi, as his name uh, has been imported or displayed. So, what I'm going to do in this particular episode is that we're going to have a a nice uh, discussion with my brother Abdullah uh, or Akhi regarding uh, certain uh, information and. Um, I would say deceit from what I've been told, but again, uh, Brother Abdullah will be the first uh, to obviously correct me if I'm wrong. But it's going to be just a general one to one, um, and me and uh, Brother Akhi, Brother Abdullah will just go in at it straight away. So, first of all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Akhi. So, Brother Abdullah contacted me about a is it a week ago just under a week ago is that right just yeah under just just under a week ago yes just under a week ago. yeah so contact me under a week ago sent me an email from what i remember uh first and foremost and then you sent me an instagram private message correct that's correct that's correct and you volunteered to come on this uh podcast you know without any duress totally independent and uh you wanted to uh set the record straight and voice your concerns uh, with certain information uh, that you want to address to the audience. Is that correct, Brother Abdullah? That is absolutely correct, Akhi. So before obviously uh, getting straight in, um, what we'll do now is allow you to obviously um, explain the reasons why you wanted to come on and explain or even address the concerns you had, and then we'll get to obviously the issues at uh, hand. The further, inshallah, inshallah. Okay, Bismillah uh, rahman rahim So yeah, before before I go into it, I'd, I'd like to start off sort of by saying I'm not here to speak ill of anyone. I've got no sort of what you call agenda or any sort of hatred towards anyone. Uh, this is not my intention. I mean. Oh, I love all my brothers in Islam, for the sake of Allah, and uh, though everyone has their differences, um, I'm not a fan of all this, you know, cancel culture, nitpicking everything, you know, small things and stuff like that, as ultimately I think, you know, the goal is to reach uh, a level where we focus on ourselves and uh, obtain a solid sort of understanding of a religion and strong relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, saying that, um, if we see that there are points of concern that interfere with that and can manipulate people and can tarnish that, you know, relationship, then I think it's um, it's uh, it's important to highlight those uh, points of concern. So, um, as I, I got in contact with you a week or so ago, is concerning basically uh, our brother Dawa Man, and uh, uh, I mean I've. I've I've seen some of his stuff before on YouTube and like I've, I'm I'm aware of him and of course I mean he does a lot of good work and I feel it's important to highlight that he does a lot of good work mashallah for the community you know and stuff and you know concerning dawa getting people off the street and stuff like that um, so I mean that's the good stuff but. Of course, with that comes some uh, downsides. That's sort of what I feel that he should maintain his focus on, you know, these sort of activities. But when it comes to um, sort of other things, so for instance, uh, he's like you're, you're aware, he's established a new sort of educational institution called the Knowledge College online. And uh, just, I mean, uh, about a week or so ago, I was sort of... Um, I was sort of interested in, you know, learning more about the Dean. I kind of just wanted to sort of bear myself and, you know, find some courses that I could do and try and just strengthen my knowledge because I'm very far from where I want to be. Um, so I stumbled across the, the Knowledge College and, you know, very nice sort of 
well, um, you know, well set up website, all flashy, nicely advertised, really crisp, you know, something that looks good. And that one man's there at the front saying, hey, welcome to the website and everything. And straight away, I was like, oh, it's him. But at the bottom, it says, you know, these are the courses and they're taught by these people. And when I saw the, the names, you know, some of the names, I was like, oh, these people I like to follow, like some high profile names. I mean, I saw one, one, one star that I generally follow, I like to listen to and stuff. Um, one that's quite inspirational. I, I, I do, I do like to listen to him quite a bit. I saw his name sort of at the bottom, um, you know, uh, saying he taught some of the courses. So I was like, oh, you know, if he's, if he's, if he's sort of involved in it, then, you know, it's something that I kind of, you know, somewhat trust. But then at the same time, it also said, you know, if you take this course where it's basically, it's called the knowledge college course and it's, you pay like a subscription fee, uh, fee it's about nine pounds a month. And uh, it basically gives you access to like this bank of videos and it has like four levels and uh, yeah, you just work your way through all the levels. And if you fin and if you finish them, I think for each level you have a test or an exam, uh, which is done every summer. So when you do this, this is done in person in, in London and basically you have a written exam. Uh, that's the first step. And then the second step is you have a sort of an Arabic test. They, they give you these small books in Arabic and you have to, I think you have to memorize them or something in Arabic. So can um, I just ask a question? Sorry to cut you off there. When you, obviously these videos, we're going to get to obviously the instructors and who they are, uh, because at the end of the day, in order to teach in such, you know, a structured manner, and I'm, I take it these courses, we, we're going to get to them. I take it these courses are, uh, they start at a certain level and then they work their way up, I assume. Is that correct? Absolutely. That's that's correct. Yeah, you start with like an introduction level where it's supposed to lay the foundations and then the next level one, level two, level three, level four, you work your way oh. up. And oh. each level, I think, has a test that you have to pass. And I think one of the tests as well, it, and this is what sort of, sort, of, sort of grabbed my attention was that if you pass the Arabic test, it's, you get like an ijazah from Medina University. So I thought if it's if it's like somewhat affiliated. Yeah, so can, can I just get you to repeat that? So basically, you got to go to London. Obviously, due to you know the uh, circumstances and uh, situation as far as COVID is concerned, that's not going to be possible anymore. But you would have to once you complete those course uh, those uh, modules. I take it the video modules more so than uh, written. Is that is that correct? That's right. They're all just video lectures. You take notes and, and that's about okay. it. Yes. So we're going to get to who's obviously delivering these courses later. But yeah. the Arabic, so just to, uh, this is what I wanted to get to get to. So you need to take an Arabic course. So do those courses that you are going to obviously take, these video modules, obviously depending on what level you see, uh, do they involve any Arabic studies, just to ask? Um, very basic there's some but that's part of like the bonus course it's not part of the structured there's like a separate section called bonus courses where it teaches you arabic but it's not part of that curriculum so basically they give in that level so let's say you're doing level one they'll give you the book in arabic and then they'll give you all the videos and then basically it's literally memorize the book in arabic and they will test you on it so uh you have that book memorized fully in arabic and if you can recite it back to them then you get an ijaza from medina university so at first i didn't know this i thought maybe there'd be some element of teaching what those things mean so you can mem but i don't know how it all works more but you know uh to be honest but so yeah. i'm just more I'm, I'm more uh intrigued more than anything that this arabic uh, qualification is memorization of certain matun, meaning matun meaning text. And if you memorize them once tested, it's like once you memorize them and then once you're tested and you pass that test, that ijazah that you will get will be from Medina University or an equivalent from Medina University? It'll be from, uh, yeah, it says from uh, Medina University, Masjid okay. Nabawi. So that, that's advertised as from the, the Jamia, from the Islamic University of Medina. So I just want to make that clear. Um, let me just check. Officially, yeah, it says the, because... the official Ijazah certificate from Masjid and Nabawi. Masjid and Nabawi. Oh, okay, so it's from the, it's from the Masjid Nabawi. Masjid Nabawi, that's it. Okay. 
So these certificates, let me understand it again. I just want to make sure. So once you memorize it and you read it back correctly or, you know, or you pass with, you know, Mumtaz or whether you pass with any uh, any sort of uh, qualification, uh, an ijazah from the Islamic, uh, the, the Masjid Nabawi, even though you're not there. Absolutely, yes. That's what it says. That's what it claims. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know, but that does that doesn't sound right to me. But again, I could be wrong. No, but let's try <laughs> that. What are you yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically it. But if you're studying abroad, you have to travel all the way to London if you want to take these exams, uh, even the written one, like uh, and stuff like that. So if you live if you live in a separate country, you have to you have to travel to the UK if you want to take the exams and get the. Is that, is that conditional? So if you're taking the course, because obviously with the World Wide Web, you know, you know, accessible all over the world. So if I was in the United States, for example, and I took that course. Uh, you know, introductory level one, level two, and I won now. I've, I've, I've completed the modules, and I need to take the test. Obviously, we're talking pre-COVID, by the way. So we're so let's just teleport ourselves and put, you know, just say 2009. Okay, no, 2015, 16. That person, me, for example, living in the states, I have to travel to London to take the test. Well, I think I think if you just want the knowledge college certificate, you can set, sit it where you are. Uh, okay. Then you'll get the knowledge college. But I think if you want the Ijaza, then you have to travel all the way to London. Uh, that's that's the yeah. How does that, if you don't want me asking, how does that make sense though? Because to get the certificate from the Mustard Nubbawee, what do they do? Do you reckon they have a relationship with Mustard Nubbawee? I'm you assuming know? this is just an assumption, but I'm assuming they'll bring someone over from Mustard Nubbawee or someone from there or something so representative to listen in. And you know, assess because I mean, otherwise it would make zero sense. You know, yeah. Just, yeah. Me, shall I be honest? Shall I be completely honest? Hearing this, and I'll say, Allah alam, I'm not the best. It, it, it seems that for for them to have a a relationship or a partnership with the prophets, must that then means they must have connections inside government with the kingdom. It would it, it would it would make sense though, wouldn't it? You know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just, I'm just trying to open this up between both of us. That you know, to, to get the certificate of the jaza from, uh, you know, the Prophet's mosque, alayhi salatu salam. That means that they must have a a, a partnership with that. Uh, you know, because you can't play with words. That's what I'm, that's what I just want to say. So if they're promoting this and they they're saying that this is how it works, then let's not play with terms. Don't you agree? Like if it's a if it's an organization connected to the Prophet's Mosque, then mm -hmm. say as it is. But if they said from the Prophet's Mosque, then again, that, that to me seems like, wow. This seems like, wow. This seems like they've got strong connections in. Exactly. So uh, it says clearly it's the official Ijazah certificate from Masjid and Nabawi. That's exactly how it is. Black and Black and so, so what else, uh, you know, brought uh, your. Uh, you're tingly uh, spider senses up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, yeah, basically, that's where, when I saw that, I was like, you know, I mean, any sort of person that doesn't know much, straight away, I was like, yo, this this seems, if it's associated with Masjid and Nabawi, it's got to be legit. It's got to, it's, it has to be, you know, it. So I you wouldn't doubt it. You wouldn't doubt it. You wouldn't doubt it. Definitely. Absolutely, I had zero doubt. So I was like, I'm jumping straight in. And I, uh, so yeah, so basically, so I thought I'm jumping straight in. So I, um, I just went to the registration sort of page, signed up, and it said your first month, 99p. I thought you're bugging. You know, I could try it out. 99p for the first month. No, no lie, it's 99p for the first month. So how much is? Uh, the course that you uh, in total before going into the monthly installments. How much? How much the course? So yeah, no, it's it's ninety nine p first month, and then after that, each month after that is nine nine pound a month. That's what you pay for the yeah. That's where you pay for the 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 four courses. But now this is where you know me being naive, Mister Naive, and I'm sure lots of people have fallen trapped to this before, and. Uh, you know, because I was so excited because I was like, yo, this is this is the one, you know. Uh, yeah, the 99p, um, right? Bloody yeah, I can't, yeah, exactly. can't get a fish and chip. Can't get a fish and chip for that one. <laughs> Absolutely. So I thought, you know, I'm in. So I signed up, and then straight away, once you sign up, you pay. Um, another page comes up, 
and it basically says bonus courses you know taught by this ustad and this ustad and this ustad and i was like okay those are legit you know so i was like you know what that sounds good and it, it said you can buy this bundle of bonus courses and it's like stuff on a pita fit um other stuff i, I can't remember can I, can I can i just sort of step back a bit just for the record i'm drinking with my right hand okay it seems like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my right hand no oh, i'm just drinking with my left hand it's my right hand. It's really but so just to sort of step back um the course that you paid for was what four courses which was what yeah so that's basically introduction studies so it's like basically introduces like supposed to give you a solid foundation before you move on to which is level one and that's based yeah. off of, uh one of the medina books that i told you about um before um i forgot the yes, name yes yes uh, absolutely that's the one uh, it's yeah that's so it's based off of that and then there's uh level two um which hasn't been fully uploaded yet there's only just elements of it like just okay. three videos that are five minutes long but one level one's complete that's the only one that's fully complete and then there's level three and four which are yet to be completed um okay. there's nothing uploaded onto those so yeah so you work your way through these levels four levels and yeah that that's supposed to give you i'm not sure about the content of level three and four it's not it's not uploaded yet the video it's not nothing's uploaded on level three nothing's uploaded on level four so i'm completely unaware of what to expect in the next two levels even level two only has sort of three videos and they're just uh um oh i think yeah mm -hmm. level two has what they're gonna put on uh okay they haploaded so just add, how much is the total of that course that you just uh signed up for? so this one uh, th how much is it how much is it yeah total so for access to all of this, plus a few bonus courses and thick courses, uh, this basically is nine pound a month. First pound ninety nine. The first month ninety nine p, and then nine pound a month thereafter. That's for these. That's what you okay. pay for these. So it's month for me. It's month. Monthly nine pound a month. Yeah. So for me, that that seemed pretty reasonable. I was like, if that's you know the level we're yeah. looking at, you know, and. The association seems legit and all this stuff. So, though you know, for me, it's it's not an issue. You know, if it's if something's good, uh, if something good's coming out of it, uh, I don't mind paying. That. So, um, I think you know most people will be fine with that. So it's, it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, so that was that was fine. I committed to that, and then straight after, when once you process that payment, that goes through straight away. You get a pop up that comes up. And uh, like I said before, I was I, I'm I'm a bit I'm a bit naive with these things. I put too much trust I uh, put too much uh, trust in the brotherhood, you know. Um, uh, so you know, this pop up came up, and it's like bonus courses bundle taught by this or start, this or start, and that or start. And I was like, all right, it seems legit. And there's like it's basically these courses. It doesn't tell you what's in them, but it says like marriage bundle, fake bundle, appeal. Marriage, they're, 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 they blinded you in marriage, actually. That's what they're doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. I said straight away, you know, I need, I need to start looking soon. So. Clever marketing, <laughs> yeah? Clever marketing. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that was, I mean, there was a few things. I mean, it was like that. There was a few things on Rocky Eyes. Was, 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 was the marriage one more like a parrot now? Uh, the marriage. Nice and pink. Uh, <laughs> that was separate. Like, it, the main oh, thing oh, was oh, like oh. Akida Fik and all these, oh. that bundle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's a few of these bundles. So um and then it said 100 quid for all of them. 100 quid. 100 quid. And I was like, nah, I ain't paying 100 quid. That's that's too much for me. Like I ain't I ain't paying. But whatever. So I skipped it. Once I skipped it, another pop up comes and goes one time offer only 50 wow, quid okay. slashed wow. price. Oh, half of fifty percent off. You can only take this offer now, 50 quid. So straight away, I mean, I don't even think that's like just that's my naivety. Call it, stupidity. Bargain, isn't it? Bargain. Call it whatever. But straight away, when it did that, when it did that, I was like, "Yo, fifty quid for something that's." I think it's that's what their intention is: is to psychologically play with you, is to show you it's worth a hundred quid. And then when you see it slashed half price, you go, "Whoa, I'm getting." Yeah. I'm getting something that's worth a hundred for for fifty. So let's take it. Let's take it. 
Uh, absolutely. So straight away, I was like, yeah, you know what? Bismillah, let's go for it. I did it and then bought it. Not only, <laughs> only five minutes later, did it slowly kick in that what I just did and what just happened. Um, <laughs> I looked at the, the, the main page and those courses were advertised for 125 quid. If you were to buy them straight from the front page without going through the subscription and stuff like that. If you were just... A, oh, yeah, so if, just, if I was to go on there, we, like you signed up for the other courses and mm. that, because of you know you having access to the portal, you you had that pop up. It was a hundred, and then obviously because you were you know you thought about your pocket, and then you press no, and then it come up again, and you're fifty quid. Of bloody, I could, I could manage. If yeah. I was to go onto their website just as a, a non-member and on the front page or courses, I would have had to pay one hundred twenty-five pounds for it. That's only for the knowledge bundle, Achi. So the knowledge bundle oh. is 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 uh, marriage, ruqya, aqidah, manhaj, uh, Quran, fiqh, and Ramadan. That's uh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, yeah. That's one hundred twenty-five. Yeah, absolutely, all of that. Now, just to add, just to add as well, look at all of these. You know, heavy knowledge. You know, aqidah, fiqh. You know, marriage. You know, these are you know uh, very very intense subjects. So absolutely. I would assume. If, if someone's going to be a student and sign up for these courses, it will make sense that someone who's qualified, who's got, you know, who's grounded in knowledge, you know, he's, you know, firm on knowledge, should be delivering those courses. Don't, don't you agree? I totally agree. And that's, that's the main reason I bought them, because I was like, you know what, it's going to be taught by someone, you know, that's well-versed in these topics. Because these are like, these aren't, light these aren't light you know subjects you you, you got to have someone that knows what they're doing you know teaching them and of course because the high profile of star names were there i was like okay most of them will probably be taught by so and so or so and so oh, okay. okay so they so their name the prominent uh Ustad who you were you know well aware of their yeah. names were put uh in front in in term, in terms of order their names were apparent in terms of how how they marketed those uh, courses and who will be uh, the instructors and the, those who will teach them, correct? It was basically, I mean, I'm not going to, like, you know, uh, question intention, but it was put in order of seniority, let's say. So the right. from, from, from best to worst in, in, in terms of knowledge, I'd say. But not in terms of who teaches the most. <laughs> the re you know, to who teaches the yeah, least. We'll get to that. We'll get, <laughs> you know, we'll, 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 we'll get to that, inshallah. Yeah. So, so now that you signed up, okay. So now I think we've we've we we're, 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 we're moving slowly, but we're we're getting to the main uh, sort of uh, part. Absolutely. So you so I'd just like you signed just, up now. You signed up the fifty pound course, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So I bought that uh, fifty pound course. So I just like to add one thing is that. Once I did realize that it's advertised for 125 quid on the main page, then if you sign up, you pay 100. Uh, but if you decide to go against that, then you can pay 50. Yeah. That I saw on one of the videos underneath, because you can comment on the videos and there's people underneath, you know, brothers and sisters commenting and the sharing stuff that they learned and whatever. I saw one of the, one comment underneath one of the videos and the brother was like, oh, I paid 100 pound for the, uh so and so bundle the bonus courses is there any way i you know something like that i, I don't remember exactly but he said i paid 100 that's when it clicked i was like if you paid for it when it said 100 quid for all these courses it wouldn't offer you the slashed price afterwards you'd pay the 100 so it's the intention is to catch the people who are willing to pay 100 yeah make them pay the ones that aren't willing to pay 100 they can pay 50 yeah. So someone complained and said I paid a hundred for it. Uh, I don't. I don't think it was a complaint. It was someone that said, "Oh, I paid a hundred quid for the bonus courses." So when I saw that, I was like, "If you opt in, if you pay when it offers you that hundred quid, then you're paying a hundred quid. It's not gonna slash the price." So it's a clearly a. I, 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 it's. I found it quite sick, and it's it's a deception, really. You're you're decreasing the value of these courses according to who's. You know, sort well, of it, access. Who's not willing yeah. to pay for it? Who's not willing to pay for it? Absolutely, absolutely. So it's it's 
Uh, for me, I'm not I'm not well versed in fiqh or anything or stuff like that. But for me, that seems like insincerity, deception, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, just increasing and decrease. You know, you're not uh, as far as I'm aware. The way, the, way the way I look at it, and again, I'm not a paid member, but the way I look at it is this: that, for example, you walk into a store. If it's if the product is half price, it's going to be half price for everyone, isn't it? Absolutely. Do you understand? So, like, if you're if I don't you know, accept the initial offer of a hundred. Then I can understand just a a week later they review their packages and maybe they're not getting many people signing up. So they have a one time offer, you know, 14 days for 50 pounds. That makes sense because it's available for all then, isn't it? Absolutely. Do you see? So if they're now using this you know tactic that all right, this course really isn't worth it. Well, it's a hundred pounds, but you know, if no one wants to buy it, you know, and cancels at the first pop up, you know, we'll accept 50. But then why don't you just ex put it down to 50 pounds and everyone takes exactly. advantage of that? That's, that's what I'm saying is all those people that may have scraped for that 100 quid and could have ended yeah. up with 50, you know. And if you cancel those offers, those offers that are offered to you at the beginning, you can't, you won't get them again. You'll have to pay 125 if you want to pay them afterwards. So if you X out, if you X yeah. out, that's it, it will come back again. You won't get those offer again. You won't get those offers again. You have to pay from the front page, which is 125 uh, uh, quid. So it's a one-time. It's a one-time offer. It's like get it now. This is it. You know, this is the only time you can do it. Uh, yeah. And whoever is willing to pay that hundred will pay. And if well, they miss out on it, there's a they don't know that there's a potential that another pop pop up will come. They don't know. Because I didn't wow. know. I pressed X and then all of a sudden it said 50. And I was like, yo, 50. How, 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 how long after? Like a second or two or five or ten? Uh it's like the next page that comes up. So when you when you when you press when you when you say no, then the page yeah. sort of goes refreshes and goes to the next page and it says, Oh, special oh. one time fifty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So is it so it's it's a it's a it's a link like it's like a hyperlink that you press. Yeah. No, it's basically so you know you know when you pay for, for the website you you you, yeah. you pay for the courses yeah you go yeah. through PayPal or whatever method you press pay done then it like the page sort of refreshes re yeah, re re absolutely yeah once the action's complete it goes to another sort of page and okay. it says courses hundred quid. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't mean, I don't yeah, and I don't then when you mean. reject it, it does it again. It goes, oh no, one time, fifty quid, <laughs> and you know, so I don't know. That's pre-programmed, then I take it. That's pre-programmed. It's, pre it's intentional, Achi. It's it's, and that's what made me sick afterwards. It was I realized that it's a trap to trap people and get as much money as you can out of you know people as possible if they're not willing to pay a hundred. You know, this reminds me of this reminds me of Achi. And again, obviously, we'll get to the courses. Uh, that's going to be mm -hmm. later. You know, this reminds me of that. For example, my kids, obviously, they, they like playing. And you, you you would know, you've got probably nieces and nephews. They like these Roblox and, you know, all of these funky yeah. stuff. And, and, and what they, and obviously, those games are free, aren't they? they they're free. So they'll play those games. And then my little ones will come to me and say, Dad, I need this. You know, it's $6.99. I was like, What? I thought the game's free. <laughs> no, 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 Dad, this is another one. Yeah? This is $10.99. This one's better. This one's better. Or this, you know, Lucky's better. Or this. I go, like, What the hell? Like, before I know it, both are coming to me and saying, Dad, what about this? If I was to <laughs> accept, I'd be down 50 to 100 quid. Do you know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. it reminds me of that to a certain extent where they'll get you in. So they'll obviously, not that the course is, again, we'll get to obviously who's delivering them, but it's it's it's, 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 it's beneficial knowledge. So of course, money's not wasted to that extent, but it's just like once they've got you in, is how much they can get from you, it seems like. Absolutely, that's that's that that's totally that's uh, that's totally it. It's um, and and Allahu alam. Uh, maybe if I pressed next to that, it would have been twenty five quid one time offer. Who knows? Should have, should have probably. <laughs> <laughs> try, try, try again. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> well, uh, actually, you're going to sign up, so uh, you know. Oh yeah, I am. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you my username because they'll probably bar me or something. They'll bar me. Or something. <laughs> Buy my IP address and say, yeah, not in the college. You nah. <laughs> Get our secrets. <laughs> yeah. So now that you signed up, okay. Um, I take it you uh, were watching those videos, uh, in introductory 
Uh, and uh, tell, us, tell us a bit about your uh, your journey with the, the Knowledge College. Okay, so um, yeah, so what the when uh, first started, they give you the first set of videos is your introductory studies. So um, first course um, is is called uh, the key to paradise: a study of the Shahada, which is beautiful, you know. It's a, it's a nice, nice, nice sounding course, and it basically what um, who's it taught by? It's taught by Dawah Man. Uh, okay. So Dawah yeah. teaching. Dawah Man teaches um, the study of the Shahada, which um, yeah. So basically, and uh, which okay, I thought you know, oh well, whatever. Let's 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 see what it's about. So I went through like the introduction. It talks about why, what, why do you need to study La ilaha illallah? You know, why is it the greatest pillar with all the evidences? What does it mean? Uh, what are the conditions of it, and so on and so forth. It goes quite in depth. And to be honest, I'll be honest, actually, it was quite well delivered, and um, I did learn quite a lot. A lot of things that I didn't know before, to be honest, to be completely honest. And, you know, uh, credit where credit's due. It was it was quite a well sort of, uh, well, well taught, sort of well sort of uh, conducted <laughs> set of videos. Yeah. So I was I was happy with it. I was happy with it for most of it. So I got to the end and, you know, everything was fine. I completed all the videos, alhamdulillah. But what I noticed was, I don't know, it was a subconscious sort of thing. And there's a few things that were mentioned in there. Um, but, like, I kind of just took them and, and, and whatnot. But I noticed a change in how I was sort of uh, thinking in a sense that I'm always, for me, I'm always, like, focus on yourself because you're nothing special, mate. You need to, don't look at anyone else because that, that doesn't, that doesn't really affect you at the moment. You need to get to a good level first before you can start, you know. You know otherwise, it's hypocrisy, really, you know. <laughs> you're, you're being a... Slow your horses, mate. Slow your horses, mate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was, I was watching, but inside, in my head, I was slowly getting thoughts like, this person, this person, or oh, this person's not this, and this person's not that. And, this, and it was a conflicting sort of thing in my head because I was like, it's not me. I'm, I, I, I don't. I don't like this. I was like, I really don't like this. I hate this. You know. Um, well, what, made you, what made you think like that? Then? So I don't. So see, you, you mentioned you watched those videos. How many videos were they of him teaching? Like, just say, you know, uh, a tawheed. Like, how many? How many lessons were they? So shahada. It's basically one, two. I think there's about uh, about ten or eleven. So Dharma's was teaching uh, about. A tawheed, ten lessons himself. Uh, yeah, ten, uh, ten lessons basically on. Um, uh, the the, the, yeah. No, no, no. Sorry, not ten, not ten, ten. Um, oh. It's about, it's about, it's about. Sorry, <laughs> uh, about almost twenty, I think. Twenty. Twenty on, videos. Yeah, twenty videos. That's. And right. how long are these videos each, roughly? They're all about maybe fifteen, twenty minutes long each. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. how much teaching about <laughs> La ilaha illallah and there's yeah. 20 videos which are about 15 minutes long. Exactly. That's 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 exactly it. Um yeah. it's it's uh, yeah, it's all taught by him. No one else, just just him alone. So um and there's quite a few deep sort of things in there and stuff like that. Um did it make you feel sorry to cut you off, did it make you feel after watching Pretty Yeah? 15 times 20, bloody hell, I'm not saying great. Just, I'm, I'm a damn man, he's back to your house, let me tell you. But uh, as far as what you gained from that, okay, you, you you benefited in terms of understanding, you know, the meaning of la ilaha illallah, our purpose, you know, uh, you know the, the, the foundations of la ilaha illallah and his, and his pillars, mm. etc. But at the end of all of those videos, so you've watched 15 or 20 videos uh, of damn man teaching this. Mm -hmm. Your instinctive reaction was like it made you, you know, harsh and and, and rough and judgmental and and you know everyone else is not doing good enough and I'm, I'm not blaming him for that. But I'm saying yeah, yeah. is that how the flavor and the feel of the videos made you, uh, you know, made you feel slightly, you know, towards 
I'll be honest, at the beginning where he's, where it's basically explained the meaning, it was beautiful. I was like so connected. I was really like, I was feeling good about it. But as it went on more into like the deeper stuff, like conditions of it and, you know, what sort of, um, um, you know, like sort of, he talked, he touched a bit on like sort of, um, who were they? Um, yeah, the wrong people who take the wrong meaning of 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 the shahada. So like Sufis, liberals, Asharis, and ah, um, oh, so you had you had to be okay. So the sectarian flavor came out. Then. This this yes. Yeah, so there was it was like mentioned. There's two types of people that misunderstood the concept of the shahada. That's the first group are the Sufis, uh, the liberals, and the Asharis. And it's basically they do uh, a lot of these sort of Sufis. They they do murjia like so like they say oh uh, the, the murjias are the ones that say like oh if someone's a Christian they're not they're, they're not kafir you know it, it depends on what's in their heart and stuff like that and blah blah blah. It touches on that. There's this group of Sufis that say that you know it, it, it oh if we we don't know if he's going to the hellfire because we don't know what's in their heart sort of thing. You know, and uh, touches on those, and then the Asharis who don't believe in the names and sort of attributes of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That 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 that, that there is an outright lie there. That, I think I mentioned that before. That the Ashara, uh, as I say, I'm Afri, I'm not 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 Afri, But for for this rhetoric, and it's similar to Sobs in there, like that, it's a self-imposed view, like the. Asha'ara deny the names and attributes of Allah. This is utter lie. This is a lie. Utter lie. It's not true. But when you think about this for a second, you sign up for the now I'm, now I'm looking at this very, very, you know, I'm dissecting this in my own head. That if you mm. listen to this now and you don't know any better, this is a form of indoctrination, if you ask me. Absolutely. This is this is what this is this is what subconsciously sort of gets to you because it's putting people into groups. And it's getting you to think that those people who think those things are misguided and they're off it completely. Like they don't understand the shahada properly. Um, you know, um, this is, you know, involves shirk, bid'ah, all these things and stuff like that. So uh, they, 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 like, they like to point the finger at everyone else, don't they? <laughs> yeah. So those are those. That's one of the misguided groups, and it talks about the other groups, which is basically the Ikhwani type groups. That oh, you can, it can't be a course from any <laughs> the Ikhwanis, oh, man. I'm trying to be mentioned first. <laughs> the Ikhwanis came a bit later, you know. You got, you got, you got, you know what? You got one person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, basically people that sort of use political power to get into, you know, mess. He mentioned like Hezbollah, Tahrir, ISIS, Al Qaeda, Ikhwan al Muslimin, all these guys, and people. You didn't leave anyone out. You didn't leave anyone else. They're, they're, they're 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 like, every, every touched every single one that's that's out there, basically. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, even 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 touched touched on what what each of them are. So what is his Bulteri? You know what what's their agenda? What's ISIS's agenda? Um, what are the Ikhwan? So you get into, get into their agendas, or not just their misguidance, their agendas as well. Okay. Yeah, so it's like basically his Bulteri. You know, basically was said that uh, some of them don't even pray, and their ba their basically their main goal in life is to establish an Islamic state sort of thing. They don't that, pray, you said. Uh, it says that uh, uh, some of them don't pray, but they Absolutely. have this, some of them don't pray, but they still have this sort of motive of establishing this Islamic state, even though they're not even doing anything themselves. And then you've got like you know the the Daesh sort of people. They just they they disregard everything. They just focus on the some aspects of you know uh, the religion, but disregard everything else. Uh, and then you've got the Ikhwan Ikhwan al Muslimin who work their way through the political system to try and establish power and stuff um and then yeah a lot of them believe in democracy which is not a part of our religion because democracy is you know misguidance and all that stuff so yeah we're not supposed to oppose that man was very uh <laughs> elaborative of the same sect i'm sure he touched as well but, uh, yeah. saved sect um yeah did he mention well, I mean, not not not. Uh, well, not not like explicitly, but it was it was it was it was hinting towards it. Do, do, do a bit of this, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's kind of like that. So when when you mention these things, then it subconsciously sort of, I think those were the sort of things that 
in my head though i'm this is not me at all it's very i'm probably one of the least judgmental folk out there you know i, I don't i don't like to point fingers and stuff like that because i know i'm far off so there's no is is for me it's not my place to do so so um then i started thinking about other people like because i live i live with a brother and uh i started thinking huh he's you know <laughs> 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 Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping with one eye open? What's going on? You know, um, start so thinking it, about it. It is, it is subliminal, isn't it? Very it's subliminal. subliminal. It's subliminal, actually. That's that's the thing. And I started thinking about other people more than I was thinking about myself. And I felt like in immense. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I felt in uh, an immense spike. But that was power. That was sort of fueling this negativity in, in my head, because I was thinking, I'm thinking the right thing and all this stuff. But all it took me was a day, alhamdulillah, to, to snap out of it. I was like, yo, this, what, what's going on? Like, what is going on? That's how deep, that's how deep it is, huh? That's how deep it sort of got to me. So I was like, this, this ain't right. So I, that's when I- Now let's think about this for a second, Habibi. Think about this for a second. I don't know how hmm. old you are, and you, and you, could, you could admit it, but I haven't asked you age, am I? I'm not yeah, no, no, no. You seem very mature. You seem very mature. You don't need to say. Now imagine you find, and it's common. It's common. He's crying. He's predominantly the youth. Imagine if you have a 16, 17 year old teenager that signs up for his course, for example, because it's yeah. affordable. Because it's affordable, they can sign up and they can listen to that. You know, it's good. You know, mm. there is an Islam, but then there's this kind of injection. Mm. You know, there's invisible injection that they're injecting you with. A 15, 16 year old, 17 year old, or a late teenager, he'll probably in his early 20s, when he hears stuff like this, it, it, it will impact his, his worldview. It will. Mm. I, yeah. I assure you. And this is what grows, this is, it grows this ego and this contempt for other people. This same sex syndrome that I've been saying. So, this syndrome, in essence, is a reality because it, Keeps you on your toes constantly. You're always looking at people with suspicion. You're you're thinking subliminally that you know what it's me against the world. Do you understand yeah. what I mean? I totally I totally understand that, and I can I can I can I can relate to that. And th when I used to see sort of these things, I used to think I'm never I never want to become these sort of folk because it just you can see that there's a lot of brothers, uh, not mentioning any names, that you see on on. Um, on, on social media and stuff like that and you know maybe around speaker's corner and you can see that you know as a, as a as a muslim the main thing one of one of the main things is that we have to be humble you know and uh, a sign of your a sign of your faith is also in your character how you pre how you present yourself how you deal with people are you are you kind to them are you well mannered and when you see this sort of arrogance shine through and all this harshness and all that stuff, you know, from these sort of people, it makes you really think that, is this how it should be, you know? Um, so it's, it's, it's quite sad. I mean, uh, one of, one of the, uh, again, I won't say, but I've, I've seen a video of one of the, uh, one of the sort of the, this um, crew um, uh, amongst these people who do knowledge college, uh, video of, of him sort of made a video um, uh, critiquing a um, <laughs> uh, one of the sheikhs. I think it was sheikh, uh, one of the prominent sheikhs in the UK, actually. Like you know, and he was at that, that time. This is a few years ago, and he was critiquing him quite deeply on, "Oh, he shouldn't be saying this. He should be saying that. He should be saying this." And then you think, you know, that's the that's the and this person's like God knows how young, like maybe early 20s or in the late teens and you think that they have the the sort of confidence to critique someone of knowledge who's been dedicating their whole life to study yet they're one or two years in to learning and you know you think exactly absolutely so yeah so so, this on the knowledge college this video that you're talking about uh, which one? This uh, which one? critiquing the scholar that you mentioned? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just talking that one of them. Generally, like, so, like, generally. This, generally speaking, yeah, that oh, this, okay, this okay. is not knowledge college, but yeah, generally this is what sort of happens, and yeah, and uh, like you were saying, if 16, 17 year olds, young people, who you know, who don't know much and and just get caught into it, uh, I'm afraid for them. 
that they start sort of thinking like that because it's not yeah, it's, no, not, it's, a, it's, it's not, not out of the round of possibility that this uh you know attitude um can bring about much uh radical changes in you and then as i said in my videos like many times it, it it breaks families and communities and um you know this separation and they carry very, a lot of traits uh you know that resembles you know uh, a certain uh, you know this uh, slave sect you know mentality that mm. unity with these sort of people is practically impossible why because they treat everyone with suspicion and treat everyone with uh disrespect and contempt mm. and they actually believe religiously they can do that that's the problem mm. Absolutely, yeah. It's 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 a shame, really, because it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a scary thought. It's a scary thought, honestly. So, I mean, well, once I started feeling a few of these thoughts, I was like, "Nah, I'm out." And that's when I dropped you the email uh, yeah. because I've seen a few. Uh, I mean, no, I actually, uh, Subhanallah, it was. It was uh, I made when I started feeling those. I, I made sincere uh, dua to uh, to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I said, "Just show me a sign to what is right." and you know show me like you know because i don't feel good you know about this just show me like what is the right way and basically when when i did that just you know it's the same day i stumbled across your videos that broke down these sort of mentalities subhanallah so when i saw them i was like you know it, it really opened my eyes um, alhamdulillah so that's when i dropped your message because i was like you know i have to I have to get in touch with you because um yeah uh, i felt, felt it need to be shared um so yeah. let's do uh, um so now obviously you've watched those courses and it only took one <laughs> introduction <laughs> course to get you a bit <laughs> yeah a bit, a bit scared a bit scared let's just let's just call it as it is it's okay it's yeah. it's all right. um yeah. so have you viewed any so like now you you signed up for that 50 pound course which is originally 120 pounds and then he got introduced <laughs> to <and> then 50. <laughs> Could have been 25, you never know. Uh, <laughs> could, have been, could have been four hour, could have been a four hour. Um, so the other courses um, that you signed up for, uh, yeah. who's teaching them and uh, all the names, all the senior, uh, you know, um, influential um, mm -hmm. you know, people that were mentioned uh, in the initial marketing, um, mm -hmm. you know, at the front page dashboard of their website. Uh, was the uh, people involved uh, or names mentioned? Were they teaching any of the courses that you signed up for? So, okay. So basically with the subscription course, like I told you before, the ones that you pay £9 a month for, I'd say yeah. about about 80 to 90, 80% of the courses are taught by Dalaman. So Dalaman's teaching 80% of that, the original yeah. subscription. Exactly. Those level courses, like yeah. I'd say about... Dalaman's teaching 80%. Yeah, yeah, and the rest are other other brothers. Like I think uh, uh, Yasin Munir, he teaches a course. Oh, sort of, oh, um, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, and then his brother teaches a few as well. His brother, uh, our man's brother, yeah. So that. I'm hearing that right. Our man's brother is also teaching courses. Yeah. Our man's uh, brother is also part of the knowledge wow. college. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Be interesting to know. <laughs> where the hell they've got this courage to go teach courses when in reality i've seen the amount of uh uh you know i've seen enough to 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 basically gaze that these brothers should be staying far away from even teaching honestly it's, it's just a shocking so 80 percent yeah of the courses is is taught by Dalman himself okay yeah of the subscription courses and one of these i think i should mention this um which which i i haven't i haven't looked at this course yet um but when i saw it i was like yo this this uh this is scary <laughs> because what you think because this is like these this is level one we're talking about this is like the first thing you're learning and these are people that are new to the dean that want to start practicing so you think you'd start with, you know, foundational stuff. So I thought la 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 is probably a good way to start. That's fair enough. Yeah. You know, and you work your way up slowly, gradually, you know, probably. Like, like, like the virtues of knowledge, exactly. you know, manners, terbiya, adab, akhlaq, yeah. all of these things. Yeah, that's totally. what you should be teaching. That's what you should be teaching. La 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 Totally. So, I mean, there's a little bit, it's just a little section on how to be a student of knowledge. So, you know. Uh, sort of clear your vessel, you know, 
make a sincere intention you know what are your goals and plans and you know what's the correct path prioritize you you know you know and stay slow you know all these things it's 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 an introduction to that but then straight away from that it jumps to nullifiers of islam jumps into what the nullifiers of islam nullifiers of islam uh yeah. the nawaf of islam uh nah, yes the, wow. the nullifiers of islam and that is taught by uh dawah man so the <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get this right. So these are introductory courses, yeah? Level one. Level one. First, like Level bare one. bones. I'm new. Um I wanna I wanna learn sort of about Islam. And uh this is level, level one. So let me I wanna make sense of this because this is getting this is this is shocking. So level one, you're learning about the Nafud of Islam. You're you're learning about the nullifiers of Islam and Dawaman's teaching the nullifiers of Islam. Yeah, exactly, and uh, yeah, uh, all t all of them, all of the whole thing is um, uh, is is basically taught by Dawaman. Um and it basically talks about you know principles of takfir as well, wow. and placing takfir. So you're teaching basically new students of knowledge about placing takfir. And you know, it, first it talks about. I think, to be fair, it talks about you know uh, the danger of, of doing unjust takfir and stuff. But uh, it, it later yeah, that, goes that, on. That's a, that's a catch twenty two, isn't it? It's a danger. It is. It's it is. It says the danger of unjust, and then it says the you know placing takfir. And there's four parts to that. You know, it goes. There's four parts to that, and then it uh, also talks about uh, the life of. Um, um abdul um uh sorry uh what was it the life of um sheikh muhammad wahab. ibn abdul wahab yeah you have to put that in oh there. he's teaching you about the life of muhammad ibn abdul wahab yeah nah, yes wow i guarantee you that will must have been sugar coated distorted <laughs> uh, i'll tell you now i how many how many minutes is that by the way how many minutes is that video the there's two of them uh the first one is about you know 12 minutes and the second one's about uh, uh 12 minutes yeah two yeah, exactly. so 25 minutes total exactly exactly because you know why because if you would have went into the truth of the life of muhammad Abu, i believe me we would have been he would have had to bring out some home truths which he didn't really want to but i'm going to do that in part three um, i think what i'll do for him if he wants he gives me a bit of discount i'll, <laughs> I'll do part three and he could teach me on his knowledge college how about that now how about um, that? the truth the truth yeah. So the reality is now getting back to serious uh, matters. How did that make you feel? Basically, a level one student, and mm. on top of that, well, as we mentioned and alluded to earlier, that mm. teenagers could be taking this course, like you know, Absolutely. babies, babies, like literally, yeah. don't know any better. Probably, you know, when it comes to you know the uh, the nullifiers of wudu, like what what mm. nullifiers of wudu, they wouldn't even know that. They wouldn't yeah. know what the different types of water, like you know, when it comes to fiqh. But yeah, yeah they're jumping into level one, knowledge college, and they're learning about the ten nullifiers of Islam. Yeah, and right. and taught and taught by Dawah man. That's that's the, by that's, the kick, that's the kicker. The, even... the same guy that said, talking to the dead is shit. And if you go to the grave and you say, "I miss you," and you know that is shirk billah as well. He's teaching. The ten dollar boys of Islam. That is that is madness. Honestly, no, that is madness. Yeah. And and I and I'm looking even deeper, Habib. You know, someone you know who is respectable has, you know, who is grounded in knowledge and has had the experience. Don't you think someone should at least put their foot down and call call him out and say, "Well, look, we don't mind you know teaching the course, but you need to stay well away from this course." Well, absolutely is because this is this is sensitive you know this is like this is not even you know i can understand okay you know la -da -la -la, go for it man go for it that's your time to shine brother but when it's coming to like nullifiers of islam takfir shirk these are like heavy these are heavy 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 topics and you know to have a and let's you know we've got to be honest he is a layman He's, he's just he's, he's, he's just a he's, you know uh, he's he's not very knowledgeable. I mean, some sometimes you have to know your level, you know, and you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest yeah, with what you're capable of, and you know, 
I think this is beyond. This is way beyond what he, what he, what his capabilities are. So I'm, I completely agree. I'm quite shocked how no one has interfered and said, you know what? No, you stay away from it. You know, get someone else to teach it. It was actually a student of knowledge at least. You know? that's, 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 that is acceptable. That, that no one would oppose that. If a student of knowledge who's well versed, who is an actual student and is you know progressing his studies, by all means. They've got the right to study or, or teach mm. the sensitive and delicate matters. But a person who's late and very late, and we know the blunders that he makes consistently, it's, I would go as far as it's a crime. It's a, mm. it's a crime that he is being given, I wouldn't say permission, because at the end of the day, I believe he does what he wants. But mm. you should know your level, like you said. You should Absolutely. know your level. Teach about a Tawhid, and even then that's sensitive, but fair enough, you know, he's a name that, you know, people look up to, the youth look up to, say, so, yeah, basics of Tawhid, la ilaha illallah, you know, mm. the, the, uh, you know the, the Shari definition, and all the conditions, and all the meanings, etc. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, go for it. Even then, I, I've got my reservation, but when <laughs> it entered the round of Iman and Kufr, Iman and disbelief, um, it, it's just baffling that... Um, and I keep repeating myself, it's it's even, you know, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And uh, yeah. this is something that we have to do. Like, we have to do sad. I, I, t I totally agree. It's, it's, it's quite sad. It's quite sad to see. Um, so, I mean, that's most of the... Um, that's most of the the courses, the level the the level courses, the ones that, you know, you get certified for, let, let's say. Uh, then the bonus courses are taught. They're they're a bit more wide, widely spread out, uh, and who, who teaches them and stuff. Um, so I mean, there's there's this course on fiqh. I think uh, um, Yasin Munye teaches that. Um, there's a few there's a few courses on basically there's there's one on Rukia. Uh, I think that uh, Rukia. I think is um, that's uh, uh, Tim Humble. He teaches that. Uh, okay. Okay. So that's that's one of the big names. That's the bonus courses you said. That's bonus courses. It's not part of the, the sort of the curriculum. This is you know sort of you know just just extra stuff that that will help you. Is, um, that, is that part of the, the fifty pound package? This is part of yeah. I think uh, I think these are part of the thing. Yeah, there's one on there's one on uh, there's one which is quite interesting. I haven't seen, um, but it's the it's taught by uh, Dawa Man as well. It's the reality of the Shia. So he, he delves into sort of, you know, talks about the Shia and, you know, how the book the Shia. He, he talks about basically how Shiism was founded by a Jewish person and and different. I haven't watched it, but these are like the titles. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I mean, after the first course, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm not watching anymore. <laughs> well, right. as, far as, as far as the, uh, obviously, it tells you who delivers the courses. In yeah. terms of the, the combination of the courses that you signed up for, uh, the 50 pounds. Or the 125 yeah. you know, uh, retail price. Um, who who's delivering most of the courses, by the way? Oh no, it's, with, with, without a doubt, I can say uh, hand on my heart, it's uh, the uh, Dawa man. Uh, most Dawa of man, most of them. He's, yeah, he, he's bossing it. He, he teaches. There's uh, two sort of uh, courses on marriage. He teaches so how to find the one. Uh, there's one called Big Fat Muslim Wedding. He teaches. Oh, that is one. that the one we're teaching about intimacy? Uh, yeah, I think so. I've not looked at it, bro. I'm, I'm a bit off now. I watched it. I watched it in your 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 video, the PhD one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So no, uh, that's the one. Then that's so. Is that part of the fifty pound package? Yeah. That's part. Of, that's the bonus course. Is part of the fifty pound package. Absolutely. All right. You know what you need to do for me because look, like I even said this on my uh, uh, tweets that look, sex ain't that complicated, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> But like teach you about intimacy. All right, fair enough. If he was to say what's permissible, what's not permissible, but reality mm -hmm. is he is he is he fit to teach those courses? Let's be honest. No, absolutely not. These 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 are deep matters, brother. Not, look, what this? I I agree that you know we 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 can say that in Islam you are allowed to obviously uh, you know enjoy your your spouse uh, providing you know it's in certain uh, sharia conditions. Mm -hmm. We could we could we could make it you know general, but when he said if he would teach you about intimacy, see now this is now, I, I think you have to be very very brave 
uh, to even tackle matters when, what, how old is he? What, the, what, is my age probably younger than me? Like 30, 30 plus? I don't know. And, he'll be younger than you. Uh, he'll yeah, be younger. he's probably younger than me. Uh, and he's teaching, you know, about, and not even that, from what I remember, he's even teaching about the marriage contract. Look at this. Deep, like, this is deep fact, man, about marriages, marriage contract conditions, wali, shurut, maha. Mm -hmm. You know, all of these things are not, are not light matters, man. And what, no. and how many, you know, uh, with the wali as well. And all of these things, like, if you don't have a wali, then obviously the khalif is a wali. Like, these are deep books of fiqh. If you go into the fiqh book, it goes into it in depth. Is he, is he deserving or should he be teaching such courses? No, I, I, no I absolutely absolutely agree shouldn't be these these uh, these you know these these the if it was like you know i could imagine if it was like if he's talking about um sort of how the cultural sort of effects on marriage and how we should avoid those so you know you know that that's the that's how i'd say is where you should differentiate die uh from uh sheikh or ustad you know sort of level you know leave the deep stuff you know the fiqh matters the you know all these issues to to the to the students of knowledge or the teachers or the sheikhs and then you know if you want to comment on how you know how you should sort of how cultural imp uh, uh culture is impacting our religion when it comes to weddings and speak about that you know just general stuff like you know how we should avoid certain things that you know that's that's well that's that's totally fine and i think as a day you know that's perfectly fine to do but when you're getting you when you're getting into like you know <laughs> intimacy and uh you know hands on. It's hands on isn't it hands on it is a mad one yeah so uh yeah um and he also does a course on rukia how to do rukia. he does a course on rukia as well yeah how to perform rukia um hey, it's just like you know honestly i'm listening to all of this and i'm i'm flabbergasted as to how Anyone associated with that college, if they look, if they've advised him, you can't teach those courses, or you shouldn't teach those courses, and he does so, don't you feel that or believe that anyone that is associated with that knowledge college should disassociate themselves from them and say, look, he, we've told him not to teach those courses, and he doesn't listen. You know, he's not he's not taking this seriously. Absolutely, you know, yeah. People need to know this because you, you, he should know his level and should stick in his lane. He's got mm. more than ample qualified, yeah, you could say qualified uh, people that are part of his knowledge college who are, who who he adds their names, which I'm sure consensually they would agree. Yeah. Why, why, is he, you know, um, getting involved or even. Um, putting himself forward and if he's not putting himself forward are they encouraging that's the next question isn't it yeah it's it's baffling me because they have another they have another course as well uh, i mean they've got they've got students and knowledge there and you'd, you'd assume that they would advise him you know against it and if they if if he wouldn't listen they'd you know say you know what we, we don't want anything to do with this because this is not right uh but i mean there are the same sort of group uh do a separate sort of course which is like muslim survival guide where it's basically like you pay uh for a whole year worth of study and it's live it's one it's one hour a day sort of for four days a week uh for like a year and uh that's him teaching uh, with another uh, i think it's uh, uh abu taymiya teaches as well and a few of the other like uh students of knowledge that are there um, but yeah, they're all there teaching this uh, okay. for a year. I want to ask you a question now. This is what we have to, we have to tread off. And uh, nah. again, we don't fear the blame of the blame. It's a business, isn't it? So those uh, students and knowledge that are involved, uh, even if they did speak up, you can't bite the hand that feeds you. Because I'm sure with all the fees that they're getting and all the money that they're getting, and if they're part of this venture, then there's a monetary gain then, isn't it, for them? Let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's it's you you start yeah absolutely you you know it's uh, I I don't I wouldn't like to to question intentions but it's what it seems to be honest because it, it seems like, see, I'm not I'm not I'm not judge if they're doing it for free they might want to reward them for it because yeah. you know they they they've gone out and studied and now they obviously uh, come back 
and then I want to part with their knowledge, which is a responsibility. It's not like, look, they're not after me. They're not after me. They might have snitched on me. You know, we do this live stream. But uh, yeah, so it, 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 look, the hard questions have to be asked. Is that, okay, 125 pounds for this course, you know, from what I read last time, 400 or 500 pounds for Muslim Survival Guide. Think about it, that's per person. All right? Yeah. That's per person. And it doesn't necessarily mean that one person that pays for it carries it on. But imagine if they're selling out these courses, then those who start, I take it if they do for free, then fair enough. But uh, they're employed. That's just what it is. They're employed. They're employed. Yeah. Yep, that is that is what it is. Um, That's what it is, isn't it? It's not, there's no shame in saying they employed because they've got to earn a living and they got to put food on the table and they got to pay bills as well. But the essence and the crux of the matter is, is that when knowledge is being, let's call it as it is, abused. And I mean mm -hmm. by abuse is that someone is putting himself forward and if you're promoting him then you're going to share the, the blame of the misguidance and the misinformation that he spread is, uh, uh, spreads because remember i have a of video i can't yeah. say what he's teaching and i can't accuse him of anything but from what i can gather from his youtube videos he's promoting he must be promoting his guidance because he's making constant blunders on youtube so i can only mm. imagine what he's doing on his uh, private portal yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm unaware I haven't accessed any of the course apart from the Shahada one, uh, because, I mean, that was enough to, 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 to you know, uh, snap me back into reality. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it is what let, it is. Let me play devil's advocate. Let me play devil's advocate now, yeah? Let me play yeah. devil's advocate. So, I, so, if I'm obviously, you know, from the other side, and mm -hmm. they'll say, oh, all right then, Brother Abdullah uh, has admitted he's only watched one uh series and so how can he judge based on watching one series whether the uh the complaints and the the uh, issue experience yeah. uh, is just what would you say to that i would say that i don't need to but honestly the fact that Dawaman is teaching takfir is <laughs> teaching nullifiers of islam just reading it i don't have to watch the videos to know that it ain't right it's not wow. you know you know, someone that is, 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 he doesn't know anything. You know, if we're talking relatively speaking, he doesn't know anything. And to teach these things which should be taught by sheikhs, it, it just, it, it does not make sense. That's enough for me to turn me away, honestly. It, it sh there shouldn't be any more questions raised. That's know? enough. That's, that's, that's game set match if it's called it. Absolutely. Set. Yeah. And, and if they just, you know, if they, um, sort of um if they disagree then you know you know where their heart lies you know because it i'm sure you ask anyone you know anyone any learned person is this correct and they would uh, they would tell you no it isn't it's it's the complete opposite so it's uh, it's quite sad and uh, one thing i want else i wanted to mention probably the last thing is that um, they, they add you to uh, a whatsapp group sort of and of all the brothers that study uh, you know, on the courses and stuff. They've got one for the sisters and one for the brothers. And no, mashallah, there's lots of really sort of young, sort of passionate brothers in there, and really good, and they're sharing good stuff. And you can see they're really sort of, they want to learn and, and everything like that. Um, but I mean, um, I, I'd say this is a sort of a uh, isolated incident. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, if this is what people are thinking, then, you know, uh, uh, it's it's quite worrying. Is uh, one of the brothers on there asked, "What's Dawa Man's opinion on gelatin? You know, what's Dawa Man's opinion on gelatin and how you know?" Dawa Man's opinion on gelatin. Dawa Man's. So when I saw that, I was like, "Why do you want to know Dawa Man's opinion, Achi? Why does that matter? Why does his opinion matter? Yeah, his opinion is it is it, matter? is it to say that he's been elevated to some sort of authority? This is what I'm scared of. Is that I, I'm afraid. I don't know if all the brothers think that way, but when I saw that, I was like, I fear for that because I fear for that where people start um, sort of looking up to people that 
have zero knowledge and want to seek sort of uh, fatwas off them and, you know, want to sort of, you know, uh, take their opinion on things. Because at the end of the day, and someone shared a video and saying, oh, this is his opinion. And there was a video of him mentioning gelatin. Is it, you know, halal or haram and all that stuff and blah, blah, blah. And he's talking about it. It's well and true if you're relaying what a sheikh said, like sheikh so-and-so said that it is, you know, if you're relaying a fatwa or something like that and, you know, but it wasn't even that. It's just like it is or it isn't, you know, that sort of thing. So, did, did it not read that uh, a scholar in question that uh, that said it was permissible to eat gelatin which has not been slaughtered according to the Sharia conditions? So you could eat, you know, uh, Harry bowls and there could be, you know, beef gelatin in there which hasn't been slaughtered accordingly. Is it, did it, did it not mention any scholars that? Uh, I, I, to be, I'll be honest, I didn't watch it properly, so I can't say for sure. Uh, I, I forgot, but. Um, but yeah, his opinion was there. That was, and someone was asking for it. So that's what concerned me is that it's, you know, we don't want, we we need to know the level of these people. Look at him uh, as as a source of inspiration, maybe. Like, okay, I want to get closer to my religion. And he went from this to this. So, sort of, you know, little sort of bits of information that will help us. You know, help the youth. You know, tips, tricks, this, that. You know, that fair enough. But when it's coming to Scholarly matters. Yeah, of course. This is where he shouldn't delve into, and this is where people are. Oh, no, we're talking about halal haram here. Yeah. Absolutely, it's not a light no, matter not, at all. Not a joke. It's not a joke. But yeah, so a lot's been discussed, and uh, like I said in this introduction, um, Brother Abdullah approached me, and you had concerns, and uh, you haven't been coerced to do this video. No, I'm not forced you. No, I'm not. You know. <laughs> Uh, sent you some, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it, it's totally voluntarily you, you, you felt this needed to be addressed and you had concerns and you've got the platform to do so. So, in conclusion, what would you advise if Darman watches it? I know his trolls would, but if you had any comments and suggestions and advice, uh, what would you? Say to to uh, them watching. So uh, to Dawa man or the people watching or both. Uh, to, to, to whoever Dawa just just make it gentle. Just make it don't need yeah. to. Uh... All right. Well, okay. To to the brother Dawa man is basically that it's it's well and fine having knowledge college. I have no sort of you know I don't reject that whatsoever. I think it's a noble cause, and you know you can it, it can be a tool used for good. And you can educate people, but the fact that he's teaching most of the courses, you know, if he was used as sort of a marketing sort of, you know, people to draw people into studying there and stuff like that, I'd be totally all for it. I'd be like, go for it, man. You, you know, you have the ability to draw these young people in to study and learn about the religion, but make sure you get the right people to teach these courses because you know it's it, it, it's. It, at the end of the day, he's not a knowledgeable person, and it seems like he knows everything. He knows all the Islamic sciences in depth. He knows. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what gets to me. It's like he has, and again, I'm sorry to cut you off. I have to sort of raise this point. He says, "Is it to, 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 to he pushes himself as if he's got a lot of knowledge. He's grinded in those fields, and this is where the deception is. Really, is that mm. he." Just discussing anything and everything, like he is a fortified, bona fide student of knowledge, and this is where it, it, it's just uh embarrassing. But carry on, actually, absolutely, yeah, that's 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 where the deception lies. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I would advise him personally would be that look, brother, just you know, teach the things you can teach, teach the basics, you know, but when it's coming to the, the nitty gritty of it, the juicy stuff, leave it to you know, the people that that can do it and for those that are watching i'd probably advise them you know just be careful be careful where you seek knowledge from go take the traditional route you know i've learned it not alhamdulillah not the hard way <laughs> it didn't take me long to realize but you know if it's someone that's you know sort of young and naive and and wouldn't be able to tell you know right from left and just follow the whole thing you know it, it can be dangerous so i advise you know the brothers and i've learned a valuable lesson is Take the traditional route, you know, take the traditional route, 
you know, find a masjid nearby, <laughs> you know, learn from someone yeah. that has the ability to teach. And that's that's what I would. See, I would see, uh, uh, that, that's valid. I mean, you know, you make uh, you make a perfect point. What I would say is this: is that Dawa man has lost his way by by you know perceiving himself to be some sort of authority. That's the problem. That's mm. where the problem is. Like, and those even involved are just, I believe they're complicit. I'll be honest with you. I, I know that problem. It might be harsh. I believe those behind are complicit if they are not advising him. If they mm. are advising him, if not listening, then it's your duty to tell us. It's your duty to inform the public regarding mm. his arrogance. And if you mm. don't, then I believe they are complicit, in my opinion. So it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I mean, and, and it made me realize because I'm doing a separate thing, another online thing, but it's, alhamdulillah, it's from people that uh, are, 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 you know, verified and uh, reputable. Exactly. Yeah. And I've noticed that, you know, one teaches aqidah, one teaches fiqh, a separate one teaches tafsir, a separate one teaches hadith, a separate one, because that's their speci specialization. Whereas here, that's, that's what they're trained. That's what they're trained in. Absolutely. That's what yes. they did. They, they went through the rigorous training, schooling, and they've got the relevant qualifications to teach those courses. Now, someone might pose a question and say, oh, Haji, why are you teaching? I'm not. I'm just undoing the damage that you guys have been doing for two decades. I'm just mm -hmm. bringing out the transparency, the tech, the traditional uh, Islamic school uh, of understanding across the madahib in the mas'alas that you've abused and you have. Mis uh, have um, hijacked. So mm. you could point the finger at me and say, "What? Well, what makes you different from that man?" No, I'm just refuting and dealing with your deception. And mm. because it's been ongoing for twenty years, if not two decades, it's not going to be one or two videos that's going to bring clarity to the matter. So Absolutely, I'm just yeah. narrowing. I'm bringing calls to the skull and saying, "This is where you guys have gone wrong. This is mm. what this is the monopoly that you guys." Uh, thought you had in reality, you've opposed the classical traditional Islamic scholars. If that's mm -hmm. called teaching, then yeah, all right, then I've taught people to stay away from your deception if you want to call it that. That's the first, I don't, you know, <laughs> sit there and start talking about this is why a person's a kafir and this is why, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't do none of that. Right? And even when I teach the Tawheed series, it'll just be basic. Now, when I get to the Galapagos of Islam, I would say I won't teach it because, mm -hmm. and again, those uh, the the what's it called uh, the meaning of La Ilaha Illallah, the conditions of La Ilaha Illallah, you know the the the, the pillars of La Ilaha Illallah, uh, the meaning, etc. That obviously is going to be from the books. I'm going to be showing you the books on screen. So, is it Hajji or is it the scholar that I'm reading from? I'm just transmitting. You see the difference. Whereas, mm -hmm. where that old man is he actually quoting from a book when you were yeah. learning from him? Actually, to be fair, when he was doing that, he was quoting Scott. Uh, you know, a lot of the opinions were 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 derived from scholarly sort of. Uh, but I, I don't think that he, he he says a lot of stuff. But but it, this is what they're good at. This scholar said this, and this scholar said that. But in reality, when you go check it, either they half making their quotes and they're completely misconstruing his statement. So, uh, what I'm saying is that if you want to teach, then you've got to have books in front of you. That's the whole mark of teaching, isn't it? Absolutely. Teacher, yes. Have a book. And relays that book from a scholar and then teaches it. If you're just sitting there on your laptop, then at least confirm whose book you're teaching from, if you are mm -hmm. indeed teaching. So mm -hmm. it's all of these nuances that you know, we need to uncover and let the people know that look, knowledge is sacred and be careful who you take knowledge from. And I even say myself, I put that in, include myself as well, be careful. But whatever I say, go check it. And if you yeah. oppose me, then correct me. It's fair, yeah. isn't it? That's fair so, enough. It's, uh, it's, it's been interesting. It, it gives you, um, you know, what I would say, it, it puts the fear uh, of, of taking knowledge from ignoramuses. And mm. those who are amazed with themselves. Unfortunately, uh, this brother of ours, um, it, it shows that he has a chip on his shoulder. And it's, it's just, it's monetary. Unfortunately, I have to say, it, it's a business. It's his bread and butter. I don't know what, uh, what other way to put it, but we have to be straight shooters and we have to speak our mind. And it is your business, mate. Let's call it as it is. It's your baby. And 
this is how you make your money. Fair play. You know, if you want to make money off it, if you want to monetize the deal, go for it. But at the same time, you need to be behind the scenes, man. And you shouldn't be teaching courses, especially like uh, Brother Abdullah said. Nawakad al Islam, come on, sir. Nawakad al Islam, come on, sir. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. But, but yeah, Allah yeah. Uh, uh, for joining us and uh, letting us know uh, how you feel. Because then the day is how you feel. And uh, if you feel like this and it's after one course, <laughs> after one session, <laughs> uh, you felt like you were, you were, you were fighting. Uh, uh, you know, the Byzantines and the Persians and, <laughs> and, and, the, and the Mongol Empire all at once. I was, I, was, I was ready to go on a, I was ready to, to, to go on a Tabdi'i streak, bro. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. You, you, you would have been given your Tabdi'i license, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, there's a certain amount of licenses you can, uh, how much ticket you can issue a day is conditional. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's 10 a day because if you go over the quota, you have to take a rest for one day. So, you know, it, 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 it. Anyway, so Habibi, uh, Abdullah, may Allah bless you. Uh, and again, like I said, you know, it, it, it's it's hard facts and the reality. And other than just take a break and know your lane and know your position, any other comments that you want to add, Brother Abdullah, in closing? Well, Jazakum Allahu Khairan for for having me, Akhi. Thanks a lot for for taking the time out, and uh, no, and for uh, for for reaching out when uh, when I sent that email. Uh, really appreciate it, and uh, yeah, Jazakum Allahu Khairan. And uh, I hope that it was beneficial, and uh, the people can benefit from it too. Yeah. Inshallah. Well, just, just like I said, we're not we're not we're not uh, we're not saying they don't do good work in terms of the courses, etc. But what we're saying is that one. The topics that are being handled and are being taught by a certain person that needs to stop. And the mm -hmm. delivery uh, is definitely uh, fanatical, sectarian uh, traits of uh, safe sex syndrome, and that is detrimental. Because I'm thinking about the youth, I think the youth that we're mm -hmm. concerned about. And until this is not tackled by someone, someone uh, more senior within that fraternity or within mm -hmm. that group. Then, then it just shows you guys are sectarian beats. And if anyone else did this on the opposing side, you would be, you know, off in a profit. But because it's your own, you totally ignore it. And because he's got the label, Salafi, everything is acceptable. No, it's true. It's true. But we'll close it with that. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, guide us all, you know, uh, uh, have mercy upon us and uh, open our eyes to the path. And forgive our sins and grant us the ability to stand the deed and follow and implement it uh, in accordance to the Quran and the Sunnah. So we we'll leave you as that. Wassalamu ala Nabi Muhammad and Brother Abdullah for joining us. Take care of yourselves. Everyone stay safe. Yeah. And, uh, you know, inshallah, until the next video.